Okay, so this is part two of a review I'm, I'm doing on the Jungle Gem spool mate. Um, <clears throat> the first uh, spool mate that I got uh, had damage to the paint and also to the bar that holds the uh, trimmer line, the threaded end. So the company sent me out a new one. And uh, luckily, the uh, I still had the old unit because a couple of the uprights I had had chips in the second product they sent me so I had to replace them with the first one that I still had which is unfortunate because uh, it's a great product I really like it it's built well the problem is uh, not only the spool mate but also the trimmer holder that I bought for the zero turn which I did a review it's up on here uh, that I put on my Kubota lawn tractor it had paint issues so I bought both items within a couple days off Amazon so there to me there's an issue when I can only buy two products from Jungle Gems within the same week, and they both have issues. So, but uh, so I just thought I'd state that. And um, so, anyways, also the first video shows some of the issues, and it also I go over the thicknesses of the parts, so you can see how it's uh, the construction of the. Um, so, if you want to see that, I'll put a link in here to that. Also. I've done a modification to this, so you'll want to watch. I've made a modification that I believe helps you in uh, cutting pieces uh, to the proper length. So here's the unit completed, and it measures approximately 11 inches by 12 by 11 and a half tall. And um, you put the spool on, this is the cutting bar, the wire comes through here, your spool wire, bring it down. Now the one thing they don't provide are flat washers uh, up against the painted steel. What they gave was the bolt and this lock washer. Well, of course you tighten that down and you're going to get scratching on the paint. So what I did is I supplied my own flat washers on both sides so that uh, there would be no scratching of the paint. I'm very picky. Now both sides of these bars have uh, an anchoring point that you could anchor to a trailer or a workbench if you wanted to. So this is the cutting area. Very interesting. So this bar has a radius on it, and they give you three washers they specify that go in between. And then you have the cutting bar that has one washer. And here you can see the taper of the cutting edge. And it, it's, it's dull, but it's enough. It's more or less shearing the part. Okay. And... But the issue that I have is when you're, you want to cut repetitive lengths, how do you do it without screwing around? So I came up with an idea that uh, will allow you to have repetitive cuts that are the exact same length. So the way I'm going to solve this is I bought some popular poplar wood, two and a half inches wide, half inches thick. 24 inches long and, uh, and I cut two pieces six inches long and then I also have an angle bracket which is a six by six angle bracket so what I did is ended up drilling two 5 16 holes in this front piece now those holes are in there to accept this angle bracket. Six by six inch angle bracket. I've located them. And I'm going to anchor those down with this thing I came up with. This is a one inch by five sixteenths socket head cap screw that I've jammed a uh, wing nut on. So it's not going to come off without tools. You're, this is jammed on here. It's not coming off. 
So you put that in here. And then you put a wing nut in the bottom. Okay, another wing nut in the bottom, so this is no tools, there's no tools required. And now that's on there, and that's ready to accept the board that's going to come, come across here. And that's what I'm going to use then to lay out my... Uh, mark it and lay out my string to cut it repetitively at the same length. So here's the uh, completed uh, board that I'm going to use to get consistent lengths when I'm cutting the stringer line. It's been anchored permanently to the uh, 6 by 6 angle bracket. So now all one has to do is when they're when you're done cutting a bunch of string is just take those two uh, bolts out that I showed earlier with the wing nuts, pull that unit off, and uh, you're good to go for storage. I have two weed eaters. I have this uh, Cub Cadet ST100, which uh, uses the 155 thousandths heavy duty line, and uh, that uh, I've got it so that uh, I'll be able to measure those out on that board and cut those too. And uh, this is my um, weed eater. It's a Toro TC3000. Now, here's what's interesting about this unit. Okay. Today's date of this video is June 30th of 2018. I bought this June 2nd, 1986. So today it's 11,717 days or 32 years and 29 days old not had a damn thing go wrong with this everything is steel other than the uh, gas tank and you know that handle there that black handle everything else is either steel or aluminum it's a straight shaft I've used the hell out of this thing but it looks new well damn near can't call it new but it's in spectacular shape because every time I'm done I clean it and uh, this is a commercial unit. I paid, uh, at that time, $239.95 back in 1986, and uh, plus tax. It was on sale. It was regularly $269.95. I even have the brochure that, uh, back at that time, you could get. So the TC3000 is a 24cc engine, 20 ounces of fuel, 32 to the 1 uh, mix ratio, it's a two stroke, straight shaft, 14 pounds. Now the only thing that I've ever changed on this would be the uh, cutting head that the uh, line goes on. And I still have the original head that uh, came with it, but um, the only reason I've changed different heads is just as different designs come out. It's a straight shaft, and it's got a grease cirque. So for my uh, TC3000 weed eater, handheld weed eater, I need... Uh, 13 and a half inch long string so I measured it from this point because it shears it off between this piece and the cutting piece here so I measured the 13 and a half inches so now this is how simple this is
and I've just cut three pieces which that head requires in that period of time and they're all the same length. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what a guy would do when you got this unit the way it is because I just don't see how you do it effectively the way I just did it and know that you have some consistency. So I don't know, but uh, once I put it together, I thought, huh, this thing isn't isn't really going to be efficient. I feel with this, the way I did that, it works great. And then for my uh, field trimmer, the uh, TC100 uh, Club Cadet, once I, uh, it's so new that once I get some new uh, trimmer line for it, I'll determine what the length has to be because I think I'm going to go a bit a little longer than what they have. I'll make a mark on here. This board's plenty long. And get some, uh, a roll of that and then uh, I'll be able to cut that too because this will accept the 155 stringer line. 